because I think shooting somebody 16 times, that's, that's a lot. But that was a little excessive. It made a difference to me as well. I don't know what else you could call that except for excessive force. The seconds between Officer Jason Van Dyke leaving his squad and opening fire on 17-year-old Laquan McDonald was just one factor leading two former jurors to the same conclusion. I would have said guilty. Why is that? Uh, you know, there's a lot of things. You know, he just, for me, he should have waited a little bit longer. I mean, he knew that Taser was coming. That, that's what did it for me. I would have leaned towards, you know, um, a guilty verdict. Why is that? I think the fact that other officers had encountered him, Laquan McDonald, that night, um, and they didn't feel the need to use deadly force. Both adding the squad video played a major role in their decision-making process. One juror feeling it helped support testimony. The teen was trying to avoid police rather than confront them. Neither felt the computer-generated video produced by the defense showing the confrontation from Van Dyke's perspective helped change their minds. As for if they felt the pressure of potentially deciding this highly scrutinized case. No, not at all. I didn't feel pressure, no, but I mean... You know, this is a very high profile case, so how could you not kind of take that into account? Do you imagine this is going to be an easy deliberation for your fellow jurors? No, I don't, I don't know it's going to be easy. It's not easy for anyone. It's a tragedy what happened. There's a life that is lost that won't be here. There's another life at stake. So it's, it, there, there's no way to make an easy decision here.